Hey y'all, I wanted to give you a quick couple of tips on the Chromecast. I just got it and it's so, so amazing. First thing I want to tell y'all that you don't see it here, so it kind of is misleading, but you do have to have a power cord attached to this at all times. So you just plug this into any dumb TV that has an HDMI port. And then on the other end, there's a micro USB and it goes into a little uh, brick, it's tiny, and you plug it into power and that has to be at all times. But some of the things that people don't realize is they think they have to do everything from one uh, tab setup. For instance, if you were going to go, let's say, to Amazon and you were going to play a movie. So here, I'm going to stream it. I'm a Prime member, so I'm going to say watch now. As soon as you bring up the thing that you want broadcast on your TV, you just go up here to the corner and you tell it, cast this tab, and then whatever's playing here will play over there. It takes a few seconds to load, it, but once it does, it runs pretty smooth. Okay, so there it is. Now, I don't know why, but I've had a couple of issues when I go to full screen on this TV. It's not going to full screen over there. So I have to play with that, but it worked fine on all my other TVs. So it might be a setting. But anyway, so another thing that's really cool is suppose you want to keep... Let's mute that. Suppose you want to go ahead and keep a different set of tabs open. A lot of people don't realize you're not locked into just using these tabs. You can go ahead and you can go here to programs and all programs and Google Chrome and then you can pull up a second set of tabs. So here's a second set. So that way you're free to browse without accidentally clicking on a tab that's something on the television. So that's kind of neat. The other trick is that you can access any file at all in your computer through your browser. All you would do is put the browser um, letter. So for instance, you know my LG G2 is letter Z. Now it's not on right now, so I can't show you, but if I were to type a Z and two dots, it would show me all the content on my phone. So it pulls it up on the browser, and then it, I would click over here to cast this tab, and whatever is here will be there. So I'm gonna show you with my internal drive because I do have that. I have some pictures. So let's say I want my files. So here are all my files, and I would go to wherever my desktop is. Let's say it's here, my desktop, and I have my pets, let's say. So I can just go here, and there's my dog, Harley. You have to go up here and say, cast this tab, like that, and then you'll see Harley over there. Vanilla sky, so let's shut that. Okay. Down and we'll pull up the other browser. So there's my dog. And if I wanted to go and see another picture of my dog, I could. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to fast forward. I guess I would just do C again. I don't know. I have to play with that. But there's my programs again. So that's a really cool thing. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. $35 gives you such amazing freedom. I wish I had my phone handy so I could show y'all how everything from my phone can go right there through the tab browser. But just so you know, if you've been wondering what the heck this is, it is the best $35 you will ever invest. That's it. Thanks y'all. Bye.